Hello. So currently I'm really disappointed because getting this vital information for efficient progress, efficient spend of my resources was so hard to get. I had to test the stuff all by myself. I had to watch like 20 videos to get information about how level 50 will look like. It's disgusting that the real content creators, not people like me, the real content creators are just not sharing their information with us. It's so sad. But yes, I did everything. Exact calculations. So let's start. What do we want to farm with our energy? We want to farm. Is it actually called energy? It is called Trailblaze power. Okay, it's Trailblaze power. What do we want to farm with our Trailblaze power? So, when we start at the game early, we just farm whatever we need to get our characters up and to progress in the game. It really starts at TL30. At this point, you have to decide what to farm. And now it's really important that you upgrade your characters, traces and weapons to the point where you can clear simulated universe level 5. It doesn't matter how much you upgrade, you just need to clear simulated universe level 5. In average you need fully upgraded units like fully upgraded characters about 5 to 6 of them. Like the right ones that actually can clear the levels that you have struggled with. Um, yeah. These characters, by the way, are Asta, Dunhung, Fire Trail Place, so and a Lightning character, probably. And of course, Nan Natasha. If you have those characters, you should be fine. Like, you fully upgrade them, and then you are strong enough to get to Simulated Universe level 6. And as soon as you reach Simulated Universe level 6, you stop farming anything else than those relics. Because those relics you farm with the same efficiency as you would farm them with level 40+. plus. But with level 40+, plus, you of course don't want to farm them, because then you can farm with full efficiency other things. So you want to get this out of the way and, f and farm them to death at level 30 to 39. You want to get really sick sets, like main set for every damage dealer you, you have. You want to get at least two defense sets of this. Um, defense on the orb and the, the neck. Uh, yes, you want to get... You, you can basically spam it, like you don't have to watch your, your drops, you, you can just spam this until level 40, basically. And that's what will get you the most efficiency, just because you, you, you get endgame gear that you will never replace for the next 3-4 months, because you will never want to actually farm this shit anymore, because it's not efficient. After level 40, it's not efficient to farm this if you have pre-farmed it, of course. Okay, so after you have cleared this and you reach level 40, now the real shit begins, because this information was so hard to get. But this is the exact calculation. This is with testing by myself, testing of other content creators, and of course videos from level 50 plus players. So what you want to farm in theory are XP materials, maybe some credits, but you get a lot of credits, so credits should be last, I would say. So you farm XP materials and trace materials, because those only drop 20% more at level 50. So you only farm, like, like you have the most efficiency farming them now compared to later. If you start farming um, character ascension materials, you lose way more value. To say exactly, you lose 33% because at level 40 you, you, dropped, you drop 3 of them and at level 50 you drop 4 of them. That's just 33%, it's that simple. With relics it's even worse. 
Right now you have one guaranteed, one five star relic guaranteed, and at level 50 you drop about every second run you drop two legendaries. It's tested a lot and everyone is saying that, that you actually drop one and a half each run, you could say. So you have 50% more value at level 50. So if you have no content that you're lacking to clear, then you really now want to get all your relevant characters. Like you, you, you need two teams, so you get all your good character. Let's say Fire Trailblazer is good, Bronya is good, Tingyan is good. Basically every five star in the game is good. Asta is fine. Like get all your decent characters fully upgraded in XP and race materials. And then you should continue farming them. You should not stop farming them. It de will depend a bit on the content you can clear. Because when you want to clear more, you, you want to, of course, farm relics. Like with the relics. And you, of course, have to farm the ascension materials to actually get them to level 60, of course. You need to get them from level 50 to 60. Therefore, you need to farm Ascension Materials once, like it's two runs for a five star. And probably also two runs for a four star. I have no idea. Can't remember. So you want to farm this. So you get all your characters to level 60. You fully upgrade them. Like not, not fully, fully, of course. Like you don't upgrade the standard attack on tanks, as example. Like you, of course, only upgrade the stuff that actually is is worth upgrading. But you don't really start farming relics, and you don't start pre-farming ascension materials. You just don't. As long as you can decently clear all the content you want to clear, you just spam farm those two things here, those two domains. You spam farm them. And at level 50, you can fully upgrade all your characters to level 70. You then have to probably farm some ascension materials. But for the ascension materials, for all your eight characters, maybe 10 characters, you will probably need like two weeks. And then after two weeks, you have everything level 70. And then you can start farming relics. Of course, you will do it in a different way you will probably at level 50 also start farming relics for your main dps for your sealer and stuff just to get them very strong and have some more fun but these numbers here are vital and very important don't over farm relics many many players are farming right now a few five stars and the f and some four stars to get the set full that's okay that's what most smart people are doing they're farming the the set the, the the relic set that they need but only one set with the rate with the right main set so and they even take epics like you don't farm full legendaries but what i would recommend to most people don't even touch relics don't do it you ascend your characters level them all to the max and then you spam trace and XP materials all day long until level 50. That's what I would recommend. Um, this is the math. Do what you want with it. It's very important for everyone understanding the game. And I hope it helped some, some people. So have a nice day and goodbye.